Alright everyone, this is my first attempt at recording some audio for uh, this uh, video from Dark Souls 3. Right before this I was uh, with my health and focus regen with a blessed weapon and a simple shield. I already summoned a guy, the video cuts, the, cuts off me summoning him. This is actually my first attempt on this boss here. And you'll see me fail, but fail for my own fault. And uh, then you'll see me succeed on my second try. I found out after doing this that this was an optional boss. Kinda wish I wouldn't have wasted my time. No, no. Finally taking notice, have you? It leads to kind of an interesting area after this. But anyway, he's uh, a rad dragon. dragon man, I guess. And uh, interesting note, the guy who you summon, or can summon for this fight, is actually the crestfallen character that's at the Firelink Shrine. Which is interesting to note, because you know, in all Souls games, there is a crestfallen dude. But this is the first time I think you can actually summon and use that guy in any capacity, really. In Dark Souls 2, he was uh, a Covenant leader also, but not very useful overall. Whereas here, you actually get to see him in combat. And I'm not doing too bad here, considering it's my first attempt at this boss. Where I fuck it up is that I did not let some of the Manta get in the background. Where have you gone? Uh, I'm assuming from the way he's standing, the boss is cradling his hands and not trying to do I don't know if that's intentional, but that's the kind of intention I got. From what he's saying here, uh, I'm assuming that's a baby. Like I said, pretty good for a first attempt. Yeah, this will also show off the entirety of the area that leads up to this boss. It's a very short little swamp area that poisons you because there always, always, always has to be an area that poisons you in a Souls game. I'm not sure why I paused there. I think I was just contemplating my existence at, uh, at that point. Yeah, those characters that I think I just killed more or less serves the same point as the Baron and Knights did in the first, team, uh, first Dark Souls. can get off there, but I said, nope, I'm gonna go back and avoid the poison as long as I can, because there's this little shelf right here you can find. You can see down there, there's several, I believe those are called the Puss of Man, where it's like a hollow and there's a weird dragon smoke thing coming out of them. Sort of an interesting concept, sort of underutilized.
but for some reason right here, there's uh, four or five of those guys roaming about. Normally, uh, in, in most parts of the games anyway, you see them as hollows, then when you approach them, they suddenly erupt. They do like a, I guess you, it's like an Incredible Hulk kind of thing. Trying to see how most efficiently to do this. Because I think I avoid fighting as much stuff as I can. stats to carry it, you lose the X over it on the side there. But regardless of if you have the stats to do it or not, you still get the bonus. And it stacks with other soul-giving items, like this covetous Sorcerer. And it's kind of an ongoing thing for me in Demon Souls. I was royalty. Dark Souls, I was a sorcerer. Dark Souls 2, whatever they called the sorcerer class in that one. And of course, again with the sorcerer. are these big motherfuckers right here? So this one's the easier one, because he doesn't have a shield. Yeah, watch me fuck up one of a Oh. I guess they're both so sword-wielding ones. I thought one of them was the uh, mason shield kind of guy, but... Fight here. Putting on a shield I can actually use. Get a nice view of my stats there. I didn't realize I was gonna I was recording this at the time, so So luckily we didn't do that. <laughs> that would have been very boring because the regen of this game is just so slow. No matter how much you upgrade. Although it's a little interesting in the mechanic, because instead of the regen getting higher as you uh you improve the items with it, the amount of time between ticks of regen goes down, but not by very much. 
So like a blessed weapon at level that hasn't been upgraded will give you, I think, 2 HP every 5 seconds. And then if you get it to plus 10, it'll give you 2 HP every 2 seconds, which is still... It shit. There's not really any point to it. But before I did the fight and it's not on this recording, I sat and let it go because I was doing laundry, so I was going to be up and away from the computer for several minutes. Like a person would fight, and then as he gets into his second phase, he just kind of starts, I don't know, throwing a tantrum. Starts being a little more animal-like. I mean, maybe dragon-like is the way I should phrase it. Because he's, uh, I guess, the most successful man-dragon conversion you see in this game. As you know, spoilers, I guess I should say, but in other parts of the game, you see these weird, like, giant babies with, like, dragon features. They're really unsettling looking. <laughs> like a lot of stuff in this game, it seems a little bit more like Demon Souls than Dark Souls. This game as a whole actually really feels uh, like a Demon Souls sequel rather than a Dark Souls sequel. Maybe I'll do a video explaining that in, in more depth. Right now, I just wanted to record a little commentary for everyone to see. See how it goes. See if you're interested. You know, leave comments. <laughs> Maybe I should have thought out a little better of what I was going to say in this. There we go. One more hit and he's dead. Also, I assume if he was the Consumed King, he would have been a corpse that likes some cannibal townspeople aid, but that doesn't seem to be what he is, so I'm not quite sure what the Consumed King is in reference to. 